Hello everyone, it's Phil Jones from Projector Reviews, and we're here to talk about cool projectors that are available around the holiday season that you may wanna check out. And a very interesting projector that came across um, my desk as we were reviewing was a brand new Panasonic projector. You don't see a lot of pro Panasonic projectors in the US market now that are, can, that, are, that are really focused or can be really marketed towards home theater or home entertainment. When I saw this one, I saw a lot of advantages to it for both business as well as home theater. And joining me from Panasonic is Scott. Hey, Scott, how are you? I'm doing great, how are you? Good, and, and, and the projector that I really wanna talk about is the new um, um, LR, is it LRZ35U? Is that the that correct, correct name for it? That is okay. absolutely correct. And what really stands out with, with it is a couple of things. The first thing is the RGB LED light source. So I think Panasonic now is actually looking at using this for both home theater consumer as well as business. So can you talk about how we got there and what made you decide to actually market it for both both uh, types of customers? Sure, Phil. Well, well, fundamentally, the original design of the LRZ35 was uh, for the B2B or more commercial applications, such as uh, classrooms, uh, training rooms, and uh, you know, small offices, uh, based on the brightness level. So, so it was fundamentally designed that way. However, we we learned, uh, you know, as we were getting more involved in the specifications of the product that there were several features that were really conducive to the consumer market. Uh, first of all, of course, being, being uh, you know, an LED projector, uh, it has an instant on off feature, great for consumers, filter free, no lamp replacements. So, wow, great for consumers. They love that, right? Mm -hmm. So then you go, you go, you keep going and building and then it has, it has a 3D functionality with optional glasses. It has CEC, consumer electronic control, which is also a very desirable feature for the home. And, you know, it's not just for home theater, but when we say home entertainment, let's say gaming, okay, it's got a latency of 33 milliseconds, very, very good for gaming act, uh, applications. So fundamentally, there's a lot of features. And as a DLP projector, okay, a single chip DLP projector, this very unique design doesn't require a color wheel. Yeah, and that's, and that's a big thing about this projector. And like I said, the um, a couple of months ago, um, I got to go through and, and Panasonic was showing me all of their amazing lineup. I had the opportunity to do, to, to review, I think it was a 16,000 lumen yeah. interchangeable lens project. Um, I put it in my home theater. Now, it's not supposed to be a home theater projector, but oh my gosh, it's the it's most amazing. Cool. Watching, having that much brightness on a 120 inch screen, wow. Amazing, awesome. but but I saw so so they were showing me all these cool projectors, and this little guy stood out, and and I saw the RGB, and and as Scott mentioned, one benefit of it is the little wheel is gone that's normally in an RGB. So so if you're sensitive to rainbows, that is pretty much eliminated with um with this projector. Mm -hmm. The other thing about it is the the colors. Um, when, when we saw it, when it showed up, my reviewer, Phil Boyle, actually called me and said, wow, <laughs> this thing could be good enough. I could see putting this in my in my uh, in my media room because the colors are so good. And when we brought it over, I was really amazed. And a lot of that has to do with the the uh, the LED light source. Now, is this the first model that you guys have introduced that uses an RGB LED light source? Yeah, it is actually. And you know, I'll go a step further. When we compare this to a, a, a traditional lamp-based projector of the same uh, brightness, let's say, um, mm -hmm. the color space of the RGB LED is about 114% that of the mm -hmm. comparable lamp-based portable projector. So your, your color space is definitely a, a wider space. Uh, and it's just got a lot of more vibrant colors and so on. So really a, a very, very solid projector. And that also goes when you compare it to something like a, uh, a regular 
traditional laser-based projector because most laser-based projectors have a blue um, laser and they use phosphor to make yellow and and to, or to make all the other colors. And a lot of times those colors are not evenly balanced, which means you number one, uh, things tend the colors tend to gravitate towards a greenish tinge. Mm -hmm. And by the time you get it to be a really even looking skin tones and stuff, you lose a lot of brightness. Uh, so having a uh, primary red, green, and blue number one just um, makes the colors just better. So when you so when I get like I've seen um, lots of business projectors that may have a few more um, business type trick tricks to it, but in a boardroom where I was looking at ad ca ad campaigns and print work and stuff where color actually matters, where you want your company color to be your company color, um, right. there's an advantage to this projector over a lot of the other projectors. And uh, if you think about what it would cost for a um, a three. Do you guys make a three laser um, professional projector, or do you make anything like that? Because those things could be insanely expensive compared to to this approach here. You talk about three chip DLP uh, projection. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, uh -huh. the, yeah. It's night and day. <laughs> very, very, uh, very, very, very pricey. Very pricey. But uh, it, you know, depending on the application, of course, there are some cases where very, very rich people could put a three chip uh, projector in a home theater. <laughs> When they have that kind of discretionary income, uh, you know, <laughs> why <all> not? <laughs> exactly. 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 But yeah, but and that's the thing I want to point out about this. If you're looking for a um, a, a light source that has discrete red, green, and blue, that's actually bright. Um, this is kind of a rare beast when it yeah. comes to um, projector um, applications. Another benefit, Scott, that we always talk about is when you combine DLP with um, a laser or even LED, a lot of times it helps with the reliability. So can you talk about that? Yeah, sure. I, th I think it's really important to mention that the, uh, the uh, life of the projector uh, is based uh, basically 20,000 hours, uh, which is really w pretty common. But I, I think in a small projector like this, you get to 20,000 hours by doing a few things. And one of them, okay, of course, is the optics. And these are sealed optics. We're a filter-free, sealed optics machine, okay, that really extends the life of a projector. Um, not every projector has sealed optics, and what happens in that case, you can get a lot of dust and uh, things that are going to have an impact on the life expectancy of a projector. Mm -hmm. Now, and that's, and that's a big point, and that's kind of one of the benefits of the fact that it was started off being designed for more of a business commercial application is the demands for reliability there is much higher um they they are abused in, in boardrooms and conference rooms <laughs> and if it and if it can last for years and years and years in a boardroom and a conference room it won't have any problems um yes. surviving um in your home so so that Absolutely. so the fact that it almost makes it overbuilt that it was built for professional and business applications and using it in a consumer application. Yeah, when we build projectors, we build them to support mission critical applications. What mission critical means is when they're in a classroom, they're in an office, or they're in a home, okay, they have to work. And that's how our products are designed, to work. Exactly, because if you were using this to display art in a museum and it goes down over a holiday or on a Saturday or Sunday, it's going to be down the entire weekend, so it has to work reliably. And That's right. if I'm wait, if I'm getting ready to watch the football game and it goes down on a weekend, I'm just as upset as that museum curator because I don't have a picture until someone figures it out. So, so I can see how both of those kind of weigh together. Absolutely, absolutely. So it has like a, it has your your HD has your eight, two HDMI's. You mentioned that it has um, CEC, so I can control it with my. Uh, with my cable box remote control. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Well, it, it, you know, it, it's got uh, it, it's got a few additional uh, inputs that are pretty cool, but it also something that we didn't talk about and really isn't uh, conducive to home theater so much. It does have mm -hmm. a built-in uh, you know, speaker, 10 watt speaker. But of course, mm -hmm. if you're connecting this to home theater, you're not going to use a, a 10 watt speaker uh, to drive mm -hmm. a home home entertainment system. But it also has yeah. a, a, a you know typical uh, uh, inputs uh, for USB and uh, computer uh, inputs and so on. 
uh, and a video in. So it's basically, you know, yeah. fundamentally, I think the two HDMI are really what are, are going to be very attractive to the consumer. Yeah, and like I said, 3,500 lumens of of brightness is really good. And one thing that we um, that we talked that um, it really should help it also, like I said, with its color volume. So mm. its brightness should be very, very good. Um, and, and the colors are very rich because that's um, what I've gotten from this um, you know, projector. When and also, you know, uh, the the contrast ratio was pretty pretty solid. 30,000 to one contrast ratio was very very good. And it's got mm -hmm. some very unique, uh, not necessarily unique, but it's got some good uh, uh, picture mode settings that you can choose from in the menu uh, uh, for some good home entertainment. There's a natural mode uh, function that I think is pretty good for home theater and, and movies. There are some modes that are preset uh, that mm -hmm. give you a good option. We have Rec 709 that I think is also one of the best uh, uh, selections in the picture mode for, uh, mm -hmm. for a theater or, or a movie watching. And and I will admit that most of the Panasonics that I've ever reviewed or have ever seen out of the box, the colors are pretty darn good. A lot of companies, I get them out of the box and they're okay to look at a PowerPoint, but if you really want to watch video on them, you really have to spend some time tweaking on them. And mm. one thing I've noticed with any Panasonic that I have tested out of the box, the colors are good. Whether I was looking at um, some $30,000 light Canon or even a um, a um, a very affordable um, business projector, the colors of every Panasonic that I've seen is pretty good out of the box, and that that just shows the care and the fact that you guys that you guys are are serious. So Scott, um, you mentioned that the projector is um, is 3D capable. So what type of 3D glasses would I need for that? Uh, we're offering uh, with our projector as an option the expand uh, 3D glasses. They're DLP link uh, projector glasses. Uh, we offer them as an option. And uh, of course, there are other glasses in the market uh, that are also compatible with the LRC35. Exactly. And there's a lot of people out there that still have, like even me, in my collection of Blu rays, um, 3D discs. And this allows you to still take advantage of that cool 3D experience that is on the, um, that are on those discs. So what does the LRZ 35U, um, how, where would it retail for and where can I get it? The LRZ 35 uh, MSRP, the manufacturer suggested uh, retail price is $29.99. That shouldn't be confused with uh, what the street price is uh, in the market. Uh, typically, when we talk about street prices, in other words, when you're on uh, a, a website of a company that sells these projectors, and they are uh, very much available now on a lot of different websites, the average price I've been seeing is about $16.99. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and for $16.99, the picture quality is, is, is outstanding, especially if you compare the picture quality color accuracy with the brightness, it is good. It's only HD. Um, but the the fact is, for many customers, a good HD is better than bad 4K. I was just going to say that uh, there's a, a lot of uh, products out there that are are available as home theater projectors from competitors at even higher price, and they're lamp-based projectors. So you know there's trade-offs to be made, uh, and it depends on what the consumer is really looking for. Uh, mm -hmm. We like to think that uh, we have the best of both worlds with the LRZ35. So, uh, you know, it, it, you know, we'll see what happens. But, um, uh, you know, we have a, a reputation for building pretty good, high-quality product, uh, reliable, dependable, and flexible product. And uh, I think the LRZ35 really fits the bill. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think it's a great piece. So if you really want to read a detailed um, break down and see pictures of what the image looks like and everything else, check out projectorreviews.com because we were very pleased with its overall performance. In fact, um, it actually won a special interest award because of its capabilities, um, because of its picture quality and its unique light source. And and let me know if you make a big brother that is 4K HDR. <laughs> I would be more than happy to be one of the first people to... Yes. To, to review that projector. So Scott, thank you very much for coming and talking to us about this cool little projector, the Panasonic LRZ35U. So if you're looking for a great looking picture and all you need is HD, 
Um, this is a great solution. If you're looking for bright, um, reliable, low maintenance, and accurate pitcher, this would be a great solution for you, especially at prices under $2,000. So thank you guys for, for listening, and you guys have a happy, happy holiday. You too. Thank you, Phil.